Let's start by making a couple of Unity game events. The first one named on cutscene started. And the second one on cutscene end. Next, click on Hope, click on the Edit Hope Dialog event to open up in the Orc Editor window. Then uh, make some space and click on Add a new event of Call Unity Event, Invoke Unity Game Event. Connect the block hot node to the new invoke event and then drag the on scene started to the unity event slot. Make some space in the close all dialogs and copy the invoke unity game event, connect the nodes and in this invoke unity game event drag the on scene end. Save your changes and let's move on. Open up the field HUD scene, then go to the HUD game object where we have the canvas and collapse all the components. We need to add here a game event listener. Then click the plus sign to add a new event response and name it on cutscene start. Then go to your Unity game events and then drag the on start cutscene start. What we want is to when the this event is invoked to hide the stats panel. So drag the stat panel inside the object uh, slot and then on the game object click the set active as default is set to false then copy the same uh, the next uh, event and then just change the name on cutscene end in this case drag and the new on cutscene end game event and in this case tick the set active so it will be to true save the scene and let's test it out. Okay, so let's go back to the arc scene. Click on play. As long as you're here, and the stats panel should go away you can when the dialogue starts. You can not worry about what's happening in the world below. When you're in the Ark, time ceases to flow for anyone but us. Is that all God can do? He can stop the flow of time up here, but he's helpless to prevent the world from being destroyed. And after closing all the dialogues, it should reappear. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.